guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Jabby Brow Session Lager from Jack's Abbey. Uh, Jack's Abbey Brewing is out of Framingham, Massachusetts. This is one of the beers that, uh, that Brandon sent me on the, the beer mail uh, video you all have seen uh, a couple days ago that I posted. This is, uh, this is supposed to be a really nice Session Lager with some hoppy notes to this, which is going to make me happy since I'm a hophead. Uh, maybe this will be a hop lager. What do you think, guys? The uh, beer is year-round from them. Uh, American Pale Lager 4.50. So very low ABV. You want to be able to... That's, that's probably where they got the session lager from. What do you think? Very low ABV, but you drink more than one of them without getting too much of a buzz. The uh, food pairings to this cuisine is barbecued. Italian and the cheeses are earthy cambrick, bontina, and the meat is pork, poultry, fish, and shellfish. Glassware is pickle, pickle, pilsner, uh, pokel, uh, or I have the, the wide mouth glass here. I don't know if this is technically considered a uh, pilsner type glass, but that's what I'm going to use it for. In this case, guys, it's a little bit more than a pint, and I don't want to have it flowing all over the table. Not recommended for extended salarings, being a 4.5% ABD. Let me read what's on the bottle here. I don't see any date on it, and that's uh, the only drawback so far, that there's no date on it. Deep golden in color, this lager balances Pilsner and Munich malts with our aromatic American hops. This beer starts hoppy but finishes unexpectedly malty with a very low bitterness, impressively flavorful and drinkable. We dub this beer a session lager as we once again brew a lager in a beer style of its own. Jabby Brow uses local soft red winter wheat from Four Star Farms. I'll be user 20 on this beer, so not too bitter on this one. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to go over, so let's get the cap off this thing. Brandon, appreciate you sending these to me. We'll get yours uh, boxed up here and get you some back. And I don't want a monster head, and uh, so I'm going to pour it fairly gentle until we get to the end of it here. Wow. I'm getting some hop notes already from there. And very unusable for a lager for me to be smelling hop. So it pours a very golden, honey-colored beer in the glass. A lot of bubbles streaming up there. Very, very carbonated there, guys. Look at the bubbles streaming there. Almost like a macro lager in there. If I didn't know better, I'd swear somebody poured a, a Bud or a Miller in that glass. A lot of bubbles in there. Looks pretty good, though. Let's get a nose on it. Wow. There is a severe hot presence to this beer. Wow. That smells so good. That is probably the best smelling lager that I think I've ever smelled. I'm getting a I'm getting a piney citrusy smell too. A little bit of grapefruit. It smells very sweet. Some tropical fruits, maybe some mango or something in there. Masking the typical lager smells of grassy, grainy. Wow, that has such a great smell. I'm blown away on the smell. If the taste is as good as the smell, it'll be a winner, guys. Well, here we go. Cheers, Brandon. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice hot presence on a 4.5% lager, not an ale. I like it. That is delicious. That's probably the hoppiest lager I've ever had. Other than what I make by myself. 
very out of style. And that's why they say uh, they created a style. So It's a hop lager, no doubt about it. And it don't have the bitterness to go with it. Usually if you get a lot of hop taste, you're getting a lot of IBUs to go with that hot taste, and they've done a great job. I've only 20 IBUs that have this much hot presence in the beer. Great job, great job. I imagine they get most of that from either a uh, late late edition hopping on the brew or dry hopping, and not using a whole lot of bittering hops. Very pleasant, very very nice, guys. This is a winner here. Got to believe this is going to be an A beer, guys. Stick around. I'll be right back. I'm going to let the other half taste some of this, and we'll see when this one ends. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. This is a pretty tasty beer. This is probably one of the hoppiest lagers that I've ever had. So, being a hop head, that's a win-win for me, guys. How much hope? Very pleasant. That is a very, very nice lager. If you're a hop head, you will love this lager. Very nice hop presence uh, on this beer. And no bitterness to go with it. 20 IBUs. Wow. Very tasty. This may be one that the ladies may even uh, uh, be a good intro beer for them to get into some of the hoppier beers. So, uh, Guys, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm going to give it an 8. It's an 8 miles. It's definitely an A beer. I would probably give it to 9 if it had a date on it. But I do not see a date. And like I said, it may be digitized somewhere on the bottle somewhere. But the, it needs to be on the label since it has a strong hot presence. You wouldn't want to drink this a year or so, or so especially with that low of an ABV. And plus the hops are going to be gone by then anyway. So you need to have a date on it somewhere, guys. Uh, Especially on the label, that's where I like to see it that way. And not in any kind of code. Just put it in there. I mean, uh, whatever, the two-digit date, the month, and uh, I, I can go with two digits for the year if you don't want to put four digits. But give us some kind of date on here, guys. So uh, that's what I'm going to say. Rate Beer, every day this is a fairly new beer. I don't know how long they've been doing it. Rate Beer has no ratings for it. And Beer Adam comes up with an 89. So... Uh, not bad. I enjoyed this one. Brandon, it was a tasty lager. I can see why you like this. If I could get it all the time here, it may be in my fridge. You see more of it in my fridge. So, uh, he did send me two of these. So, uh, got two of them to enjoy, guys. So, you know what the deal is. You're going to come back tomorrow, look in the fridge. Hope to see everybody there.